Hey guys, Stockaholics. Thanks for being here today. I wanted to do something a little fun today to kind of uh, show what it's like to be a contrarian investor when you talk to average people about your investments. If you guys hate it, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. If you guys liked it, let me know too. What's up, bro? Oh, what's up, man? So who'd you vote for? Eh, I mean, I... I voted for good. And then I can talk to you because you have ideas that are the same as mine. So anyway, I heard you're big on stocks. Oh yeah, I started a YouTube channel to talk about some of the ideas I have. Six, 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 six. Yeah, yeah, bought a couple dozen Tesla shares the other day. Elon, man, is really changing the game. Shares are a little expensive, don't you think? Expensive? What does that mean? Um, you know, like, when the price of something is high? No, man. Tesla's cheap. The price of a Tesla is going up. It's going to go to $11,500. That's a pretty specifically high number. How did you... How did you get to that valuation? Look, I don't know, man. Some smart-looking chick on YouTube said that it was worth that much, so I figured I'd better get in while I still can. Uh, plus, it gives me some exposure to technology and SpaceX. Most people think that uh, Tesla is a car company. No, it is a technology company. I don't know, man. Even as a technology company, that still seems kind of expensive. Also, on top of that, I uh, decided to max out my credit limit on a couple of companies. Uh, Neo, Workhorse, uh, there's a company called Nikola. Uh, also, um, some Chinese company I'm favorite. Um, massively bullish on called xpeng whoa uh i don't know if that's a good i figure the gains i'll be making on these stocks would massively outweigh the 24 percent interest rates i'll have to be paying on these credit cards i've also decided to take out a uh, home equity line of credit out on my house in order to invest in this new s pack that i recently heard about um it is this S Pact has gone public based on technology found on the back of a napkin at a lo local bar. Uh, this technology, when fully developed, will allow electric vehicles to go five times further than the current technology currently available. On top of that, the company has created an awesome model. They decided to push it down a hill, and it went down the hill with full success. Yeah, the market cap of this company is about uh, only about thirty billion dollars. So, uh, I really got to get into this while I still can. But anyway, what are you invested in? Well, actually, I own some oil stocks, and I own. You mean the black stuff that non-electric vehicles run on? You know, I don't know if anybody told you this, but uh, that that oil stuff is projected to be in a permanent decline ten years from now. Well, I mean, to me, it seems like that it's a pretty good bear case when you're predicting, as a worst case scenario, 10 years of growth. You really should get involved in green technology, man. Uh, it's the future. Plus, that, that black stuff, it's getting banned by Joe Biden and Gavin Newsom. Well, I mean, I'm kind of invested in uh, electric vehicle stocks. Oh, shit, man. Why did you just say so? What, you, you got Tesla, too? Well, no. Um, I own copper stocks. You mean, like, you invested in pennies? Look, man, just because you can find uh, pennies in the cushions of electric vehicles, uh, it doesn't mean that you're invested in electric vehicles. Well, no. Uh, also, I think pennies are made mostly of zinc. No, uh, I'm invested in copper, and that's because uh, copper is going to be used extensively in electric vehicles. Did you know that an electric vehicle uses almost four times as much copper as a traditional vehicle. Oh, you mean battery stocks. Yeah, you're right. Those are the future of e electric vehicle stocks. N no, no, I mean the, the material, copper. Look, uh, whatever, man. Uh, good to talk to you. Uh, I'm going to take off now. Uh, see you later. <clears throat>